Hi everybody, this is Vivica from the Nourish Caveman and the Healing Foods Method and I'm in Italy today in this beautiful place, Val d'Erica Arte BNB. Um, this is near the town of, what's the closest oh, town here? Closest important town is uh, Urbino. Urbino, we are in Marche, That's the it. region of Marche, which is kind of in the middle of Italy and it's a beautiful place and here with me today is Stella who's the owner of the B&B and also Renaissance woman extraordinaire and I'm just so impressed by all her work and everything she does and I wanted to introduce her to you and both her and this place the work they're doing and the main reason is because of the food here of course you know that I am Vivica, I'm Keto Paleo, and that's really important to me, even traveling. So I was looking for a place, a special place, where I could find some food in Italy that is more resonant with my philosophy and my philosophies of life and healing and everything with my worldview. And I found Stella, like I found a true soul sister in Stella and the things that she does. And this place is quite amazing. One thing to see the pictures on Facebook, and I'll put a link, of course. And one picture, one thing is to be here in person and eating our food and trying our amazing products. We'll talk about all of this. But I want to start with a um, little interview with Stella and ask her some questions about how this place came about and how she got to create this amazing, incredible project. We're gonna switch back and forth between Italian and English. She speaks a bit of English and where she doesn't, I'm gonna translate from Italian. So we'll get to do this the best we can. Ciao Stella. <laughs> Thank you, Vivica. Thank you. So Stella is an artist. Uh, tell us a little bit about your story. Like um, you didn't quite study like to be a cook or to be no. a you <laughs> Absolutely know, not. Um, homemaker or a homesteader. No, <laughs> What's no. your background, Stella? I studied art mm -hmm. uh, in uh, art school in uh, Urbino and then I studied in France and then uh, I won a scholarship uh, in New York and then I finished my study in Milan. Wow. And I studied uh, engraving, uh, painting, and visual art. Wow, fantastic. And I'll show you some pictures in the post. There will be some pictures, and I'll try to add some to the videos of her amazing paintings. And she comes from a family of artists because actually the first artist is her mom, right? Yes, Luisa? yes, yes. <laughs> she was uh, teaching uh, art. Uh, history of art and then uh, she became a sculptor wow. yes nice. and she is a sculptor now. Mm -hmm. yeah and her sculptures are all over the place and they're quite beautiful and you know they give this place quite a special atmosphere you know not just your regular italian countryside bed and breakfast or agriturismo like you find many but just the art already makes this place really special um, but the thing that I came here for mainly is, well, two things about her philosophy in food and lifestyle. The first one is paleo, because she offers a paleo menu for her guests. And the second one is sustainability and foraging. So let's talk yes. about paleo first. Oh. How did you decide, and by the way, there are so many cute animals here. Dogs and cats and ducks and chickens. Yeah, ducks, you know me and, and bees. ducks. And bees. <laughs> Here are the dogs. So tell me about paleo. How did you come to paleo? Like, what made you decide to, like, try the paleo diet? Uh, one day, uh, I had a guest, special guest, <laughs> and uh, I prepare a breakfast, a normal breakfast, and uh, she said to me, I don't eat these kind of things. Mm. And I said, uh, how is it possible? Uh, can, how can I um, do? Uh, what can I prepare for you? Uh, she said, um, I'm uh, doing paleo diet, um, so uh, we begin to look at recipe and try to do 
uh, together some uh, food and then I uh, was interesting and I first my mother wants to try mm -hmm. and then I want to try too and I uh, feel good mm -hmm. uh, yeah I was I was uh, surprised so because I was living with uh, uh, pasta, pane, pizza, like all, all Italian. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, um, I think that in Italy it's very, very possible to eat paleo or keto paleo even, but Italians are in a very different mental space and there is a big prevalence of gluten containing carbs here in Italy and everybody's kind of growing up with the mentality that without the pasta, without the bread, without the pizza, you can't survive. Yes. And it's hard mm -hmm. to break through the mentality, but mm -hmm. people are not feeling well all the time, right? Yes. A yes. lot of... And they don't, they don't trust um, normal people, they just trust uh, in doctor. And this is the problem. <laughs> yeah. And as we know, doctors, they don't connect the diet with your ailments like what you put in your body has nothing to do you know with how so, you feel mm -hmm. and um so we try to explain and, yeah. and try to put some different food on the menu and mm. and try to you know, explain so give me an example of what kind of paleo items have you translated i mean normal menu items you've translated to paleo now for your guests um, I uh, can't translate so, so, so <laughs> <laughs> uh, it. Um, actually, it's not too different uh, uh, because we, e even in a normal menu, mm -hmm. we use uh, flower herbs and uh, the product we um, pick up from, from the, the wood, from the garden, mm -hmm. and uh, this is always even in a traditional Stella menu. uses a lot of foraging so she uses like native plants herbs and flowers edible flowers as part of her normal menus so last night we had a salad here that was like two or three different kinds of uh, flowers edible flowers and then like five or six different herbs from the garden and it was quite amazing mm -hmm. I don't think I've had something like this before definitely not in Italy mm -hmm. And really nutritious and she was explaining to me how she uses some of the plants they're medicinal and they're almost as a supplement so they include more nutrition in your food um, instead of using supplementation so I, I really like that concept of like you know back to the concept of healing food we uh, yes we always study mm -hmm. for mm, ingredients we can use uh, how we can use and uh, try and uh, explain mm -hmm. uh, to people uh, in uh, paleo menu uh, we do uh, for example um, uh, vegetable uh, spaghetti or mm -hmm. vegetable soup with herbs and mm -hmm. uh, uh, different kind of um, uh, meat uh, with uh, berries and uh, mm -hmm. fruits and uh, what was it that you served us last night? The plant that grows in the rivers and uh, the name, uh, the local name is farfaraccio. Farfaraccio. Mm -hmm. This is one that I have the never seen, heard of, or <laughs> live alone eaten, and was quite amazing. The scientific name is uh, Petasites hybridus. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe somebody who's gonna watch Typical. it, they will know. Right? <laughs> and how did you prepare it? There were like stems cut in little pieces like this, and how were they prepared? Uh, we. Um togliamo i, i filamenti praticamente esterni mm -hmm. del gambo come they si fa con la seda, no? They peel, sì, peel off the off. harder fibrous external materials like you do with celery. Yes, e poi lo mettiamo qualche minuto al vapore. Steam it. Yeah. E poi al forno. And then bake it the or kind of put it under the broiler in the mm -hmm. oven. Yes, and if it's paleo, we love to enroll with the bacon or some wrapping in bacon, meat. which is always good. It yeah. works for paleo <laughs> and for keto. <laughs> and her menu is not strictly ketogenic. 
but it's definitely not a high carb way of eating so i would call it borderline between paleo and keto paleo so but the kind of carbs that you are eating here they're really amazing fresh vegetables from the garden that she has picked a couple of hours before and of course they're all organically grown and stella's boyfriend is a grower that grows vegetables and is between organic and biodynamic and really like focusing on heirloom varieties which in italy is not as easy as we think anymore you know it comes from a long tradition and there are people like Stella and Fabio, her boyfriend, who are trying to bring back the tradition and also the medicinal tradition of plants. Uh, speaking of that, real quick, <laughs> um, she makes these amazing products. And look at all these. Like, she basically does this all by herself. And these yeah. are soaps? Soap, yeah. Saponette, yes. dentifricio. Um, I'm... Uh, toothpaste powder yeah she says she doesn't buy anything anymore <laughs> everything is made here local and sustainable Pomata di guado, cos'è questa? Questa è una pianta spontanea di cui mi sono innamorata quando mi sono trasferita qua, uh -huh. ritrasferita qui. E a cosa serve? Eh, praticamente il, il guado è una pianta da cui si ricava l'indaco, ah, si estrae quella. di dalle foglie. Uh -huh. eh. She's, of course, the artist in her. She also uh, extracts vegetable-based dyes for pigments for paints and for dyeing fabrics and for painting and she's saying that her love her favorite plant is guado which is this beautiful plant that makes a dye similar to indigo yes. uh, but is also a, a medicinal plant yes. Praticamente è antinfiammatore, cicatrizzante e elasticizzante anche. Oh, that's great. Anti-inflammatory yeah. and serves to um, make the skin more elastic, so good for stretch marks. We know we need that. <laughs> <laughs> and this is calendula cream that looks mm. so beautiful. Mm. And they also have their own bees, so there you have honey. And mm. um, as keto people, not a lot of honey, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> And um, tisana is herbal teas yeah. from their own plants here. And elisir is grappa. A little grappa with never plant, hurts. Yeah. Yes, with plant infusions. Mm -hmm. And then and some properly medicine I use, uh, uh, mm -hmm. I make by myself. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, some from, uh, infusions like a tincture in alcohol. But this mm -hmm. is like between the medicinal and the enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> and si, si. questo? This too is another kind of a grappa mm -hmm. wow with this berries looks really beautiful oh i missed one questa è la mia aspirina aspirina sì, so this is aspirin ah. mm -hmm. so this la is la, um, la corteccia del salice durante l'inverno willow and willow is a very strong anti-dolorific so it's against pain and willow bark is known also in the north in north america by the indigenous people and she makes her own willow bark tincture to for against pain. Mm -hmm. Really yeah, nice. Uh, it's always a study. <laughs> a study. Yeah. So last night, what they made us, and I have a couple of pictures um, with the post. They made us a chicken, clear chicken broth with a rooster <laughs> that she called herself. <laughs> <laughs> she, right? Give me the la, I la story of the galletta. <laughs> I had to learn how to kill chicken because when you live in the country, on the mountain, uh, you have to. <laughs> yeah. you this is sustainability. <laughs> we, are, we are not, this is not, you know, going to the market and buying like a piece of, you know, uh, battery grown corn, GMO corn fed chicken. When you come here, you get the chicken that have eaten the food of the land here and they're processed locally yes. and it was quite amazing uh, yeah i think when you eat uh, real food you can eat mm, less food too because uh, it's nutritious all the yeah, yeah. nutrition elements and satisfying too yes. Yeah. yes no it was amazing and so we had the broth clear broth with the stracciatella which means whisk egg in it and then we had the meat and a piece of beef tongue as well, which is my favorite, cooked in the broth with the salsa verde, mm. 
which is a sauce made with what? Salsa verde. With um, uh, some uh, aromatic herbs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. An egg yolk, right? Mm, no? no, I don't. No, no. Salsa verde. Mm -hmm. Just with herbs. oil and herbs. And vinegar. Vinegar. A little bit. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Um, and you teach classes here as well, right? You do workshops yes, uh, and. Mm, what I kind have of workshops? I have a teacher, <laughs> uh -huh. and uh, I teach too. Mm -hmm. um, I um, have class uh, people. They want to learn uh, how um, find some kind of herbs and how to cook uh, them, and uh, how prepare medicine or some uh, cosmetic product like soap or. Uh, pomata or cream uh, mm -hmm. and uh, um, how to make color mm -hmm. to, from plants that's right yes and uh, how c you can uh, use in art how can you prepare ink for uh, to paper, paper or yeah some for printing you do wood yes, block print, printing, printing or yeah. for uh, fine arts mm -hmm. or that's beautiful. And so when people come here on the property, so you can cook them paleo meals and they can take like classes here or workshops here. And then I just found out today there is swimming pools like from the river, natural pools, like right maybe five minutes walk from here where you can just walk out of the property and go to the river and swim. And I'm gonna maybe try that. It's been not so warm. The, the rains have come, of course. I came here and the rains are coming. But the temperature is so beautiful today. It's around like 70 degrees and not humid and it's quite lovely. And are you guys open all year round here? Yeah, yes. How's the winter? Uh, long. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Italy. You might want to come in the fall or in the spring. <laughs> Long, long yeah. yes, it's difficult during the winter because uh, you have to pick uh, wood uh, and always fill the chimney. Or <laughs> so you heat it by just wood? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. The wood we cut by ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a little bit of land mm -hmm. with wood and then we cut and then we use our wood. Nice. <laughs> So if you're in interested in Keto Paleo and sustainability and you like Italy, I think that this is a fabulous place to visit and I am just totally looking forward to this new friendship and exchange, like I'll probably be coming back here and maybe taking a retreat here and bringing some patients with me and doing some intensive work. So. Um, this is just the beginning of a collaboration and, you know, it feels so good to be back in my home country of Italy <laughs> with, you know, everything that's Italian. <laughs> well, and tonight, ortica soup and ooh. cinghiale. <laughs> okay, you will see picture tonight, nettle, stinging nettle soup and wild boar from these mountains. Because I don't eat pig, but I do eat boar. Mm. So her father, Lorenzo, gave me a special treat and it's going to be wild boar for dinner. I'm super excited. You guys will get to see pictures. Thank you so much for watching another episode of the Keto Paleo Life travel version this week and please follow my blog the nourish caveman and um, facebook page this will be posted you guys if you have any questions you can comment under the video follow my youtube channel ask questions there will be link on the post very um, various links for the bnb and how to find it and how to contact stella to come here and visit and eat some of these amazing incredible italian food made with love thank you for watching ciao <laughs> ciao thank you grazie